back to the Bolt Chronicles. So, sorry it's a bit late this evening, I have been busy. So, first off, I'm going to start by saying, hopefully this isn't too bad. Hopefully I've just slept on it funny, but it's a bit painful and sore, so, and achy, so hopefully the left shoulder gets better. Anyway, so, back to it. What I've done is I've done a, a little different bit of stuff on the laptop today uh, to help you guys with st diet and information as well. So here goes. And at the end, by the way, guys, it is a bit funny. So, all right, so how to lose your love handles. Do not starve yourself, okay? That is the worst thing you can do, guys, okay? Believe me. I've tried that before. Take all different types of fat burners. Now, I admit I've taken fat burners in the past. So, some do work. I mean, there's some that really do not work and react badly. Okay, so you have to be careful with that. And try not to uh, spot reduce okay now what to actually do to lose your love handles is to eat a healthy amount of food track your calories now you can do that easily by scanning barcodes my fitness pal is free you know you got a free option and you got a premium option i use the free option and it works just as good okay so it's easily done um really easy to use so and i used it uh, i used it religiously throughout my whole original diet so definitely recommend it okay guys and also do hit training so high intensity interval training okay so one minute you could be walking on the treadmill or jogging on the treadmill next minute Full on sprint for 30 seconds and then dive back down and then do it again and so on and so on. That is high intensity interval training, okay guys? So yeah, I highly recommend that. You can even do it outdoors. So yeah, I 100% recommend that. That is a good way, okay? So now on to the next topic. How do you, how to feel full when you're dieting okay now a lot of people ask me this um and it's really actually quite easy it really is so you increase your protein intake because obviously protein w you know has a lot of benefits and it will fill you same with increasing your fetch you increase your veg, it's going to fuel your muscles more. And I'll talk about that in a little while, along with the protein side of things. Okay? So, drinking water can also fill you up, which is good. You know, our body is made of a very high percentage of water. So, obviously, we need to drink a lot of water, especially us athletes. So we can obviously stay hydrated and our bodies stay fueled and healthy, okay? This one I definitely do. Sugar-free chewing gum in between meals. I live on it. Anyone at work can tell you that. Because it, it, it just takes my mind off things, to be honest. That's why I do it. It takes my mind off things. And that leaves me with the last one, the most important one. Distract yourself. Distract yourself from going into the cupboards and munching on stuff, anything like that. Okay, so I tend to stay in my room and play PlayStation, watch TV and stuff. That way I'm not coming down and going through the cupboards or working out, going on walks, so on, so on. Okay, I just have to distract myself. I'm one of those, I do, and it, it, it does work. Okay, guys, so now. Here comes a little bit of information for you guys. I think you should know. Alright, so did you know that 
hundred calories of static has eight grams of protein and seven point four grams of fat. A regular steak, right? Broccoli on the other hand, right? And this is the real shock, and I was shocked when I learned this. Broccoli has 11 grams of protein and 0.4 grams of fat. I both 100. I and I, I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it when I saw it. So I read into it and it is true. I couldn't believe it. So that's number one. Okay. Number two. Now this is a long winded one. Right, but it is a beneficial one, guys. Okay, so now I know near enough everyone loves ice cream. Let's face it, okay. I don't mind a bit of ice cream now and again, so especially I know people especially love Ben and Jerry's ice cream, right? So what if I told you there was an alternative to Ben and Jerry's ice cream? Okay. There's a Ben and Jerry's do a flavour called birthday cake, so I've done that. Okay. Because I love birthday cake flavour stuff, protein bars, all that. Love it. So the alternative ice cream is called Halo Top. Okay. You might have heard of it, you might not have. Now I'm going to compare the two right now. Okay. So, per 100 gram of Ben and Jerry's has 271 calories. 15 grams of fat. Of that 15 grams, 8.1 is saturates, right? So that's really high. Carbs is a whacking 31 grams which 28 of them are sugars. Protein is only 3.3 grams and salt is 0 0.19 grams. Now, explaining all that, you know, and researching all that, really does hit home, you know, how mad that is just from 100 grams of ice cream. So, I hope you take that into consideration, guys. I really do. Okay. Now, now we're going to go on to Halo Top, okay? So, a lot of bodybuilders and fitness lovers do have Halo Top, okay? You can pick it up from all your regular supermarkets like Asda, Tesco, Sainsbury's probably do as well, okay? So, um, right, so... But, and point like this, guys, there's only 320 calories in a tub, whole tub of that, by the way. I'll just point that out to you. Okay. So, 100 grams, we'll go on again, with like how we did with Ben and Jerry. So, 100 grams is 150 calories. So, that's already over 100 calorie difference. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. I had to think then. Um, there's only 5.8 grams of fat as Ben and Jerry's have 15. 2.4 grams of that is saturates at, compared to an 8.1 gram. Carbs are in at 19 grams as they was at 31 with Ben and Jerry's. So it's obvious that the uh, Halo Top is better for us in the long run because obviously less carbs, less sugars, you know, less fats, and to top it off guys, with Halo Top, it's also gluten free, so it's even better, and it tastes amazing, I've had it, and I can personally, honestly say, it does taste amazing, so I do recommend you guys try it, okay, um, yeah, if you're looking for an alternative for ice cream, if you love ice cream and you're into your fitness, then try Halo Top, Seriously, you 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 won't regret it. You really will not regret, it. especially after me telling you all that. I couldn't believe you when I done my research on this about how bad Ben and Jerry's is. So yeah, 
Right, so now on to my last topic of fitness. See, this is a very short video today, guys, but I'm going to continue more on to this during the week or through out the weekend because I won't be filming this week as such because obviously I've shown you my new split so I don't have to now okay guys because I'm going to be running that for four to six weeks so yeah so the last topic I'm going to talk about is the is what's known as the golden pyramid of fat loss okay so I'm going to touch briefly on this tonight and then I'll continue with it during the week or next weekend, okay? So, some people think that cardio is the most important thing when it comes to fat loss, when it's actually really not, okay? So, the most important thing when it comes to fat loss, what is it? Is it, is it a calorie deficit? Is it your protein intake? Is it lifting weights three, four times a week at least? Is it your sleep? Is it doing cardio? What, what, you know, what is it? Okay, so least important would be cardio because cardio can be done different ways, you know, and stuff. And it doesn't always need to be done, okay? Doesn't always need to be done. Just remember that, guys. Because cardio is more for burning calories than burning fat as such, okay? So just remember that, okay? Sleep, sleep just helps your body recover, okay? So we're not going, that's not going to make you lose fat, okay? Lifting weights, now that can help you lose fat, okay? I'm a pure witness of it, okay? So then, you've obviously got your protein intake. Obviously, I have a lot of protein, as bodybuilders do, and I'm an aspiring bodybuilder, so I have a lot of protein, obviously. But also, I do a calorie deficit. Which is definitely for most of them. But what have I told you? All those things I have just said, right? All those things I have just said to you are all important because they all play a part in losing fat. Cardio, for instance. What have I just said to you earlier on in this video? Hit training. How do you do hit training? Cardio, lifting weights, drop sets, supersets, so on. Okay. So, I like how I just got a text off uh, Mr. Haywood saying, as if you've just stole, this is for whey line. Yeah, mate, this is for whey. Whey protein, mate. Um, so, yeah. They, they all play a part in losing fat, okay, so I'll touch more on this, I just wanted to bring this to your attention and everything, okay guys, so I'm going to talk more and more in depth about it, so, but it is getting on quite late for me now and I need to prep for work tomorrow and I'm up at 4am, now that's dedication, 27 year old guy, Travels 30 minutes to work at 30 minutes home, wakes up at 4 a.m. so he can start work at 6. That's dedication right there. Okay, so lastly, away from fitness now, now this is for fun bit, and I can't wait to say this. Okay, so congratulations, well done, Mr. Andy Davey, on beating me on UFC 4 today three times in a row. Okay. Mr. Davies, also known as Baby Hagrid, by the way, guys, okay, because he's smaller than me and he's got a bushy beard, yeah, he wants to try and be like Hagrid, but he'll always be Baby Hagrid to me. Uh, it's just a shame that you're just a controller warrior, you know, 
It's a shame you wouldn't take me, take me up on the offer of getting in the octagon, bro. You know, Let, let's do it. Let's do it. That's all I'm going to say to you. Okay? All right. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you've enjoyed that last bit. Okay? I hope you've had a good weekend. Let's start the week off strong tomorrow. Okay, guys?